everybody. I think I got to bend down for the shot. Hey, uh, today I'm going to do two slabs of ribs, and I'm going to do this uh, sort of uh, my version of Hawaiian style. I used my regular uh, seasonings, but the difference was this time I used about three tablespoons of brown sugar, and then with a fork and my fingers I mixed up my rub, and then I placed that all on here. And when I spritz it today, I will be using 100% uh, uh, pineapple juice. So that's that's my Hawaiian rub concept. some of the drippings and that should do it so at this point we'll be back well, if I was going to go by how it smells it's, uh, it's got to almost be oh, 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 oh. I would say it's got to be done but no way that would be the fastest ribs in history for me but, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to have to give these a spritz. Oh, I just love the color that the Master Grill does. It really brings that in. It makes me look good. All right, well, let's see. Where are we at temperature-wise? Looks like 184, 182, 81, 185. Oh, that one's already getting there. Okay. Well, I guess I could wrap these. Gotta think about that. These are coming along. It's a, you know it's a warm day today, so it's sort of the fan's been real quiet. So I've, I haven't really been thinking that the grill's been working, but it's doing a doing a great job. So uh, hmm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wrap them today until after I take them off, and then I'll let them rest wrapped. So. Uh, I don't even know what style of ribs to call that. That's kind of like the way I used to do it years ago, just get them to the temperature and pull them off. So, uh, guess uh, gives me time to go listen to some more Hawaiian music. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. Kind of fast, but hopefully delicious. So, with the helicopter flying and these uh, nice views coming back with the smoke being gone, uh, I think you got my inspiration for why I want to do Hawaiian ribs. It looks kind of like Hawaii today. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to see the view coming back. That's a good day. All right, and to capture this boy. Check that one before I do anything permanent with this one. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up. All right, so that one is wrapped up. Now let's find out what the temp is on this guy. Uh, just change hands here.
Well, it's going in like butter, but it obviously needs a little more time like I thought. So I'm going to let that happen. And I'll be back. All right, I think we're coming into the home stretch. Um, oh, nice and dark bark. That is, oh, yeah, I'm happy I left it in there a little bit. Now let's just see where the temps are. So, I think I pushed it too far. I might have popped out. Let's try over here. Yeah, 210. Let's try over here. 207. Try over here. 204. And let's try over here. 204. Yeah, I'm calling it. We're done. Thank you much. Let's pull it out. Okay, now see if I can zoom in and just get this thing just to show up just as delicious as it looks. Thank goodness I'm shooting in 4K. That just might work. Definitely pulled back on the bone. All right, so I'm going to wrap it and let it cool. We're done. Thank you for coming along. I appreciate you all giving me a little of your time and uh, hope you found this video enjoyable. Please come back and see my next one. Bye.